Hey guys, it's Heather, welcome back. In today's video, I wanted to share with you my absolute favorites for at home self tanning. Um, I do not tan my skin really in the sun, and if I am in the sun, say at the beach or just sitting outside, I will always use an SPF of 50 on um, just to try to protect my skin. But with that being said, I still love to have a nice tan, especially in the summertime. So today I'm gonna share with you my two at-home favorites and also go over the pros and cons of each since they are both very popular at-home self-tanning options. So I'm gonna do one at a time and we're gonna start with the Saint Tropez and this is the advanced one hour tan. Um, if you leave it on for one hour, it says it gives you a light tan, two hours, medium, and then three hours would be a deep tan. Um, this is the first at home self tanner that I have tried and um, I started using this last summer and I would typically apply it um, either like late at night after I shower and then let it sit overnight and then in the morning wash it off and I felt like that worked just as good. Or if you're in a rush you can apply it first thing in the morning and just leave it on for a few hours and then just wash it off that way. So this bottle is 6.7 ounces. You can get it at like Ulta, you can get it on Amazon. It retails for $44 for the bottle this size. But what I would recommend, um, the package that I always get is the one that comes from Ulta and they sell it with the, um, the mousse, the tanning mitt, and then the in-shower tanning gel. This is like a gradual tan. And this set of three only retails for $49. And I know that this retails for like $25 by itself. And then the tanning mitt retails for, I believe, $6. So I would definitely recommend buying it in that package of three from Ulta. That's what I do. This self tanner is the self tanner that I actually have on today. I applied it last night and then I slept on it. And then this morning I rinsed it off and I really like the color that it gives. Not sure how well it projects on camera, but it definitely gives like a really nice natural olive looking tan. It's not like over the top that it's gonna make you super dark and it's not gonna make you orange. So I'm gonna go over some of the categories to kind of break down the pros and the cons about this. So as far as the smell goes, it does have a really pleasant smell once it goes on your skin. However, as with all sunless tanners, they contain DHA. It is impossible to get rid of that smell. Um, so I would say probably an hour after you put it on, you start to smell that self tanning smell. It's not overwhelming. I think that they do a really good job using other fragrances to mask that scent, but I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and say that there isn't that DHA sunless tanner scent because there is. So um, as far as the cost, I mentioned it's $44 for the 6.7 ounce bottle. I think that is reasonable. If you break that down, it comes to $6.50 per ounce. The color, as I mentioned, I think that it gives like a really nice olive undertone. I'd say medium to tan color. Um, I will demonstrate the color that it comes out. I see a lot of reviews of people buying this and straight out of the bottle, the foam is green. It's green, but once you rub it out, it's just the color guide. It's just to be there to guide you to make sure that you are covering um, all the areas evenly. It's not gonna make your skin green, so don't let that freak you out. It's just the color guide. So I am going to put some of the mousse onto this glove so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And I would always recommend that before you use this, you give it a really good shake and that will help with the application of the product. I'm just gonna pump a little bit out so you can see what I'm talking about. I hate to say it, but it kind of looks like poop here. But when you put it onto your skin, it does have like a deep green color undertone. So as for the application, I think that if you are a beginner, this is the first one that I have tried and I have now tried several other ones. I think that this is a really good one to try out if this is the first time that you're gonna be doing this. The formula is very moisturizing. It's definitely forgiving as far as application. The color guide is awesome. It really shows you exactly where you're putting it. It's really easy to kind of blend in. It does give you more time 
to work with it and blend it in. I think that if you are new to sunless tanning foams, I think that you should definitely try this one. And I would also highly, highly, highly recommend that you get the application mitt that comes with it. It looks like this. Please don't judge the other side. I just used it. I didn't get a chance to wash it yet but this is like a velour type of foam applicator and it's super, super easy to wash. And I used, I think my last one all last summer and then I threw it away at the end of the summer. But I would recommend um, when you are applying the foam, that you use like a latex glove or something and put it on your hand just in case some of the product does seep through onto your hand. Um, it is hard to get off if you get it on the back of your fingers and stuff, but if you use this applicator, I literally take like three pumps and do like one here, one here, and one here. And I literally just take the applicator and I just rub it in like this. And I go all the way up and over like that. And it's just really easy to kind of work into your skin. Another thing that you definitely need to make sure that you do is shower and in the shower, exfoliate. So in order to get an even application that's going to last and get the maximum staying power, I would highly recommend that when you do take a shower that you use an exfoliator. I like the Shea Sugar Scrub by Tree Hut. I literally just take some of this and I put it onto a washcloth and I really get in there and I scrub and I exfoliate all the dead skin cells off of my skin. Also make sure that you shave in the shower as well. And then I go in, this is just the Palmer's Cocoa Butter, I'm sure any lotion will work just fine. I just like to use this one because it's super moisturizing. And you need to make sure that you put lotion and not like a, you don't want to put heaps of lotion on, but enough. You want to put lotion on your hands, on your wrists, on your elbows. I tend to put a little bit here on my collarbones, on your knees, on your ankles, and on your feet is extremely important because those are typically dry areas and the product will cling to those areas and you will end up with super dark um, Dorito looking feet and hands. And especially on the hands, um, I think mine came out pretty good. I don't see anything going on, but it is tricky because when you're trying to get the product on, sometimes it gets in your knuckles. And if you don't put the lotion on first and then really blend it, then that's where you run into trouble and also on your wrist area as well. Okay. So let's talk about lasting power. I typically, so last summer I applied this once a week and I felt like it lasted for at least four to five days. Now, Keep in mind when you're in the shower, you don't want to have scorching hot water. You don't want to be like scrubbing. Of course you want to clean, you know, yourself, but if you're scrubbing your arms and your legs, it's not going to last as long. A couple other things that I would do that would help it last longer is apply the Saint Tropez in shower gel. And this comes in the award-winning kit. And um, like I had mentioned below, it comes with the three products and it's actually a $75 value. So I would use something like this. And then I also would put on the Jergens Natural Glow. And I got the shade medium to tan skin tones. If you get the light to medium, even if you are very fair, maybe it would work if you were very, very fair but that turned me orange, so I would definitely recommend this one. And this just keeps your skin moisturized. It definitely will help prolong your tan. So the last thing I'm gonna go over with this one is how long does this 6.7 ounce bottle last? That was the one thing when I had bought this, I was wondering how many applications is this gonna give me? How often am I gonna need to repurchase? So I will tell you that I bought a full bottle last May and I applied it pretty much once a week. So full body once a week and it lasted me until the end of the summer. So I think that one bottle like this, if you are applying it once a week, could last you for the better part of the summer. So I think that's really great. Now, the last thing I'm going to go over before we move on to my next favorite tanner is how I apply this to my face and my hands and my feet. So I do that a little bit different than I do the rest of my body. So what I do is I take a pump at a time and you can see where I did it last and I'll pump it right here. I will take a flat face brush actually and it's perfect. And I just take it and I pat it in very gently and I'll take my hand 
and I'll just kind of bend my knuckles like this and massage it in like this and coat my hand like that. Same thing on the other hand, same thing with my feet and around my ankles. And I will also use it to do my face as well, just like if you were using a foundation brush to put on foundation. I just go in and you don't want to overdo it on your face and you need to be careful. Um, I kind of start with like my cheeks and my forehead and then the last thing that I'll do when there's less product absorbed onto the brush is I'll go like kind of in this area and around my eyes because you don't want it to make your skin look like you have a mustache, that's not good. And I'll kind of take it and I'll go around the bottom of my face here and kind of hit my ears. You could use this on your hands and your feet. I just feel like you get a better application using this to cover your feet, your hands, like your, your face, your neck, and your ears. So now we're gonna move into my next favorite sunless tanner before we do a battle off between the two that I really like and I'll go over the pros and the cons and you can decide for yourself which one will be better for you. My next favorite is Loving Tan and I get the shade Ultra Dark. The bottle looks just like this. So you can get this at Ulta or you can get it directly from lovingtanus.com. I got mine from Ulta, but if you do order it from Loving Tan directly, there are many coupon codes from other um, beauty influencers that um, you can type in and for the most part, you can get like a free application mitt. I got the tan removing and skin polishing glove for free with the coupon code, or I think you can also use a coupon code to get free shipping. The cost is $39.95 and that is for only four fluid ounces so that comes to $9.98 per ounce, which is more expensive than the St. Tropez. Okay, so the smell of this one is very pleasant. The DHA tanning smell is slightly less than the St. Tropez. It's still there, but it is slightly less, so they've done a good job with that. For application, I'd use the same technique that I explained that I use with this. I use the application mitt, and then I use the brush for my hands, my feet, and my face. I will say that this dries quicker and it is harder to work with. So if you are new to tanning, I might not go for the ultra dark color if you don't already have like a deeper skin tone. I might work with this one first until you get used to it because the first time that I tried this, it took a little bit of practice. Um, I don't know why, but it gave me tons of issues on my hands and I was using the same technique that I was with Saint Tropez, which is using a lotion, the exfoliating, the whole bit, I was doing everything. I just felt like you had to work very quickly and it wasn't as forgiving. Now the color guide on this one is like a very dark brown with almost like a slight red undertone. So I will put on a glove and show you how it comes out so you can see, but there won't be any of that green color that you would get with the Saint Tropez. So also always give it a good shake. So here's how it comes out. As you can see, it is very dark brown and it almost has like a reddish undertone. With that said about application, I would definitely make sure that if you have dry areas on your body that they are super moisturized so that this doesn't go ahead and cling to it. I still need to practice a little bit more and see if I can do a better job on my hands and my feet because it just doesn't blend as easily as the Saint Tropez does. So let's get into color. This is going to get you super, super dark very quickly. So if that's what your goal is and that's what you're looking for, this is going to do it. The lasting power on this, this will last on me for literally like a week if I don't go and like after a week, I'll typically go in with my exfoliator and scrub it off. But I literally had to exfoliate like five times to get this off. So as far as the lasting power, this stuff lasts forever. How long does the bottle last? Um, I got this just a couple months ago. And if I do a comparison based on the size of this bottle, which is about two and a half ounces more, I would say that this will last me through the end of July. So you get more bang for your buck with this one for sure. So before I get into the battle off between these two, I also want to mention another tanning product that I like. And if foam is not for you, this one may be for you. 
This is the Kiehl's, it's the sun-free tanning lotion. It comes out white and you would put it on your skin and I would sleep with it. I think that it takes like eight hours or so to build. So you're not gonna see any color until probably the next morning or after you take a shower. I think this is a really, really good option. Sometimes I'll just use this if I'm if I'm gonna have a dress on and my legs are a little bit pale, I'll just like use it on my legs and it looks like this. It is non-greasy and it's perfect because you can mix this in with like a scented lotion and then you really won't smell any of that DHA smell. So I think this is a really good option if you're looking for a lotion sunless tanner. So let's get into the battle off between these two. Um, I will insert pictures of both this tan that I have on today is the Saint Tropez. I will insert a picture of when I was using the Loving Tan. So in this photo, I used the Loving Tan in Ultra Dark. And as you can see, it looks like I spent a week somewhere in the Caribbean. And then I also mix the two of these together, which in my opinion, the perfect self tanner, and I will insert a picture of that as well. So in this photo, I wanted to test out mixing the Ultra Dark Loving Tan and the Saint Tropez. And I really liked it because it kind of gave the best of both worlds of each of the products. Okay, so let's start with each category. So as far as the smell, in my opinion, I think Loving Tan wins, not by much just buy a little bit. So cost, I think more bang for your buck. I think Saint Tropez wins. This comes down to $3.48 cheaper per ounce. And I think it is a fabulous sunless tanner. And I definitely think this wins based on cost. Color, this is kind of a toss up. If I'm wanting a deep tan quick, this one's gonna win every time. But if it's like this spring and I'm just looking for a little bit of bronze, this one's gonna win. This one is too dark if you're looking for just like, you know, a little sun-kissed glow, you would wanna go for this one. Application friendliness, Saint Tropez is gonna win 100%. It is just easier to work with in my opinion. Lasting power of the Sunless Tanner, the Loving Tan is going to win. This lasts forever. So if you're going on vacation, say you're gonna be gone for like a week or something, I would recommend applying this beforehand. It will last you your whole vacation. But with that said, I am not sure how it's gonna hold up if you're going swimming, you're in the ocean, you're in a pool with chlorine. Um, I have not tested these out that way. Um, I doubt that they're gonna last as long. The next category is comfortability. So how comfortable are they as far as application? This one is more comfortable after application. I feel like it dries quicker and it doesn't leave you sticky or feeling like you have a really thick lotion on. This one says that it dries quickly. However, it always leaves me feeling kind of greasy and sticky and what I'll do is I will put on like a pair of pajama pants that I don't really care about or a dark pair of pajama pants and then a dark t-shirt or a dark robe and I'll kind of just sit around and wait for it to dry. Neither of these has stained my sheets, <laughs> at least not yet, and I have off-white sheets and I've never had a problem with that yet. As far as how long these will last, this one's gonna win. Of course, it's a bigger bottle, so that's why it's gonna win. So if I could only have one and I had to pick one, and this is so hard for me to say because I'm really not even sure, and I actually have been using the two of these together recently, in my opinion, the perfect sunless tanner, but just based on my preference of how dark I like to get and just the application, just because this one gives me a hard time on my hands and my knuckles and it gets stuck in there and sometimes it gives me unevenness, I would have to pick the Saint Tropez Express Tan, but I will still be purchasing the Loving Tan because I love to use both of them. It just all depends what kind of tan that I'm looking for. So that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope that you guys found this helpful and it will help you make a decision on which tanner you would like to choose. I will link everything that I mentioned down below so you can easily find it. Thanks guys, I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.